What is up my friends? It is a brand new week. It is Monday. It is the late night agenda and I am here to give you guys the latest surrounding our beloved football club. Wherever you're watching the world, I hope that you're in fine fettle today and I've gone through the media, found a few stories that I think may be of interest to you guys. I'm going to give you my thoughts on them over the next 8 to 10 minutes. Ask you guys to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you enjoy it, please do drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. So let's start off with the news that it looks like Liverpool's potential pathway to sign Kevin Thuram has got a little bit clearer. So we know the PSG have dropped out of the race. And now, according to Luke Edwards of The Telegraph, Newcastle have also dropped out of the race. Apparently, they're uh, leaning towards a guy called Felix Mecha. I've no idea who that person is, but they view him as a cheaper alternative to Kevin Thuram, meaning that Liverpool have no real competition at this moment for the signature. Now, we still have to go to Nice. We still have to agree a deal and all that stuff. It looks as though the personal deal or the personal agreement has been reached with the player. So we need to figure out what we can do with Nice. Now, so Jim Radcliffe, the guy who's looking to buy Manchester United, also owns Nice. So this could be a little bit more tricky. But the competition's fading away, so fingers crossed Liverpool can get this deal done. Now, if you're asking me to take a guess at how Liverpool's midfield business is going to shape up, off the top of my head, and again, please don't take this as gospel, I'm thinking Alexis McAllister, Kevin Thuram and Viega is kind of how I expect this window to shape up. I've mentioned this a few times, but I've yet to see any article that definitively says Liverpool are looking for a defensive midfielder. I know we need three midfielders, but... I wonder. I wonder with the system that we play. Uh, at the end of the season, we played basically a, a three box three, meaning three defenders, narrow two, narrow two, and then three up top. And you get the box by joining the two and the two together in the midfield, and that gives you the three box three. It's kind of a new phrase as well. I'm getting used to it. But I've not seen anything to say that we are out for a holding midfielder or a defensive minded midfielder. So. I think maybe we're just going to look for two midfielders that can be box to box and then maybe a more creative uh, attack minded number 10 type midfielder. Now I'm not saying we need a number 10 because of course we have a brand new number 10. You may have heard of him, Alexis McAllister, World Cup winner and most definitely an Irishman. Not letting it drop. So right, let's move on to another story now. Steven Gerrard, our beloved former captain, Champions League winner, has landed in Saudi Arabia to conduct talks to become the manager of El or Al Etifak. Now, excuse me if I've mispronounced that. I'm still getting used to some of these Saudi Arabian club names. But Stevie G looks like he could be the latest big name to jet over to Saudi Arabia and become part of the, the revolution, I guess, over there. Um, I've seen some images of him arriving. Know absolutely nothing about the club. But, again, good to see Stevie potentially back in work. And let's see how it works out for him. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Do you think it's a good move for Gerard? Is he going just for the money? Is he... Going for a mixture of that and experience. I don't know, and I'm not going to judge him either way. Free to do as he pleases. But uh, it's good to see him, at least in the game, still working in football, or potentially still working in football. So now I want to move on to my favourite story of the day. The one that um, I think will make you guys the happiest. So Rudy Galetti and other sources, I should say today, have said that he understands that Liverpool are set to make a concrete move for Gabriel Viega. Now, if you don't know much about this kid, he plays for Celta Vigo. He has scored plenty of goals this season, including a brace in the last day against Barcelona to guarantee that Celta Vigo would be in La Liga next season. And he has a €40 million Euro release clause. That's as much as I know about him, other than he's very talented and he's spoken about very highly in footballing circles. And if we are to bring in an attack-minded midfielder, I think this kid is it. I really do. I think this is the one, and I certainly think this is the one that Liverpool have their eyes on. Now, we aren't the only ones interested, according to many sources. Chelsea, City, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Napoli have all been mentioned as having uh, courting the young man. So we know what we need to do. €40 million Euro is his release clause. We'd have to pay that in one lump sum, and I guess we'll wait and see what happens. But this is the one that I want. You're the one that I want. Sorry, couldn't help it. I know, I'm cheesy. Book it over it. It is what it is. Um, He's the one that I want. He is. He's the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to stop now, I promise. Um, and I think if you're looking at a window where you've got, let's say, Viega there for £35 million, you've got Thuram for let's even go to £40 million, and McAllister for £35 million, 
That's a hundred million pound window and the whole of midfield is sorted, which surely would give us some money for other areas if we so wish. So let me know your thoughts on Viega. I know anybody who's watched this kid sings his praises. Now, do we have an ace up our sleeve? Can young Stefan by Chechic, you know, have a word in his ear? Obviously, we took Stefan from Celta Vigo for a much, much lower fee. I think about 300,000 euro, if my memory is correct. But this guy, these links aren't new. I remember seeing links to this kid six months ago um, and then started to look into him a little bit more. And again, like I'm, I'm new to him. I'm not saying I've watched them all season, but I like what I see. And I also like the idea of Liverpool bringing in a midfielder who can perhaps give us more goals and assists because, let's face it, hasn't been great for midfield over the past few years. And if we can bring in somebody that can maybe play on that right-hand side of midfield, play in that 10 role a little bit, I'll do me. So again, let me know your thoughts on this youngster. Would you like to see him at Liverpool or are you still on the Barella bus? Because I understand I'm also kind of semi on the Barella bus. I want to be on it. I'm kind of leaning off it, holding on with one hand, but I just don't believe that Liverpool will pull the trigger on that deal. Um, and that's the only thing that's real. Like if it was available, I'd take Barella in a heartbeat. And he may be available, but again, I'm not sure if John W. Henry will spend the money See, I look at Liverpool at times, and I'm going a little bit on a tangent here, but I look at Liverpool at times, and us Liverpool fans is a bit like cuckolds. You know, we're cuckolded. We kind of have to look at other teams go out there and doing their business and, you know, going to win all the trophies and the shiny things. And we're kind of just being forced to sit in there watching other people do their business with what could, should maybe be ours. And it, it freaks me out a bit at times. So... Yeah, that's why I'm not in for the Barella thing. I, I refuse to let myself believe again that I might actually see a summer where John W. Henry spends some real dough on players that are absolutely proven. But then again, I am worried a little bit differently. So what do you think on this one? Do you think we'd spend the money for Barella? Or do you think we're most likely to go for the likes of Viega? Because remember, Barella's price is probably about 50 million quid. So not too prohibitive that we couldn't afford it. And he has now, of course, played in and lost the Champions League final. And I understand that people... That people think that maybe his performance in the Champions League final wasn't uh, great. But I would ask you, who did play well in that final? It wasn't a great spectacle either way. And I'd still have a 27-year-old Barella in his prime in our midfield if the opportunity arose. Uh, one final bit of news for you guys today is on... Well, actually, there's two more little quick bits of news. One of them is on another centre-back we've been linked to, which is Gonzalo Inacio of Sporting Lisbon. Apparently, he's joined the Mason Mount Brigade and prefers a move to Manchester United, according to Ojogo. Again, I've no idea if this is true or not. Just said I'd bring it to you guys because he is a player we've been linked to. And there has been some conflicting reports coming out of Portugal about uh, his situation. So one report will say he's signing a new deal. Another will say he isn't. A report today said that he's no interest in Newcastle and it's between Liverpool and United. And then another one said he wants United. So again, let's wait and see. Uh, Bobby Clark is another Liverpool player who has been targeted by Preston for a loan. That's according to Football League World. Again, I don't have much more on this, but if it's the right move for Bobby Clark, Preston are a fine club, why not? So that is pretty much it for me today. Now, there will be probably another video coming out very late tonight, so keep an eye out for that one. We have a few other bits and pieces that we need to tie up with regard to a centre-back search and a few other things as well. So it is now over to you, my friends. Drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, and of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Talk to you soon. Have a great week. Much love. Bye-bye.